Now, I'm going to show you one of the cool things we do in that campus I just showed you. What we do um, is um, lungs that are donated for transplantation by people but are deemed by surgeons to be not good enough to be transplanted, perhaps they had a cut in them or they were filled with fluid, are sent to our facility, that solar-powered facility you saw there in the picture, and we put them under a glass dome, which is like an artificial body. And over the course of several hours, we take the damaged lung and we bring it back to perfectly good health. We then have this high-speed data network where we send out the images of this now restored lung to doctors throughout the country on the United Network for Organ Sharing Network. Half the time, these lungs are, are viewed by doctors to be perfectly good for transplantation. And then we fly them back out to doctors. So these are lungs that within the course of a few hours, the doctor said, I didn't want that lung, which means one more person is going to die on the lung transplant list. And now half the time, the doctors are saying, we'll take that lung because you flew it to Silver Spring, you repaired it, and you'll fly it back to us. And so, so far, over 500 lives have been saved with our repaired lungs. Thank you. It's, it's really, to me, it's, it's a super amazing story because everybody said that, like, well, the shorter, the longer the time that an organ is outside of a body, uh, the worse chances it is for it to ever su be successfully transplanted. That was a dogma. And we actually reversed that dogma because by the time you take the lung from where the person died and, and the lung was extracted, you take it to Silver Spring, Maryland, you do the surgery on it, and then you ship it back out to another hospital. That has greatly prolonged the time that that lung has ever been outside of a body. And yet, um, the statistics reported of those lungs when they're retransplanted in patients is no difference at all. It's equivalent to as if a lung was transplanted from a person who died in the very next operating room.